Hello, my name is Denis Fedorov. Today I am going to speak about Russian transliteration. Also, I will give you a PDF with a transliteration table. The link to it is in the description. Okay, transliteration is the conversion of a text from one script to another. It means that it involves rendering a language from one writing system to another. You may need transliteration for different purposes. Either you are a Russian learner or not. Phrase books for travelers uh, use transliteration, and if you want to learn some phrases before going to Russia, but not going to learn the alphabet, transliteration is what you need. It can be used for business purposes, like to insert some Russian food or drink item into the menu of the restaurant, or create a, a side brand product with a Russian name but English letters. And, of course, the most important to write Russian name in English. It is the most common usage. If you already know Russian, you can use a transliteration to write on Russian forums or social networks. If you have no Russian keyboard, for example. But for such purpose, there are virtual keyboards. So, transliteration is used everywhere and you may need it someday. And I have prepared for you a PDF with a transliteration table. The link is in the description. So, now let's go to the PDF. There are five columns there. Three last columns are for reference and two first are about the transliteration, actually. In the first column there are Russian uppercase and lowercase letters. And in the second there is an English transliteration for them with also capital and small letters. Let's take Russian word alphavit, alphabet, and transliterate it. Letter A is A, letter L is L, letter F is F, letter A is A, letter V is V, letter E is I, letter T is T. So we get word alphavit, alphavit. That's how it is done. Easy and simple. But not easy and simple for some people. Here is the example from my life. When I got my second bank card in my life from Sberbank, the major Russian bank, I was so disappointed that I wanted to throw it away. As you probably know, my name is Denis Fedorov, and it is written this way. But here is the card I got, and here is how it is written there. So you can make me suffer by providing poor services or with uh, annoying calls from your marketing department. But to mangle my name and give me the card that make me watch my name mangled for several years, well, it's beyond all limits. Then my sufferings stopped when I got this card with my name written properly. And I became almost a happy client. And after I blocked the phone number of their marketing department that offered their credit cards and loans, I became a totally happy client. That's the example when transliteration may be good or bad, and it depends on the standard you use. So, not to bother you with technical stuff, I prepared a PDF with the proper standard. And with this standard you will have no problems. So, that's it for today. Grab the PDF, use it, and thank you!